Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Alright, so this is the second update on this video because, well, it's official. Last time it was pure speculation, or well, it was a decently credible report, but it was unconfirmed at the time. Robert F. Kennedy made a social media announcement of an announcement, so he announced that a big announcement was coming up in a couple days. The reports of the speculation was that he was going to be dropping out of the Democratic primary and running as a third-party independent candidate. Hey everybody, I want to extend to you a personal invitation to join me at a special campaign event on October 9th in Philadelphia. This is one that you won't want to miss. Fast forward a couple days later, and that's in fact the case. There's been a lot of debate, a lot of discussion, frankly a lot of hysteria surrounding this topic, I'd argue from both sides. A lot of Trump supporters believe that this is a horrible thing, and that Robert F. Kennedy is going to pull votes from Trump, and some Democrats believe the opposite, that it's a horrible thing for Democrats, and Robert F. Kennedy is going to be pulling votes from Biden. I made the argument that I think this is going to be devastating for the Biden campaign. I'm sticking by that argument, and now that it's official, it's time to really delve into it. What is going to be the effect of a third-party candidate, a Democrat third-party candidate? We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so here's the official announcement. At hotels and malls on the street, and they remind me that this country is ready for a history-making change. They are ready, they are ready to reclaim their freedom, their independence. And... And that's why I'm here today. I'm here to declare myself an independent candidate. Robert F. Kennedy officially drops out of the Democratic primary, now declaring his independent candidacy for president. We haven't had much data, I think we've had one or two polls. Most of those polls suggesting not much of a change or a slight vote pull away from Donald Trump, but the most recent data suggests a very different reality. We've got a poll from Echelon Insights. In a head-to-head -head general election matchup between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, Trump leads by three percentage points. But now if it's a three-way race, things shift quite dramatically. But Trump is still in the lead. In fact, Donald Trump's lead, if anything, expanded. In a three-way matchup, we have Republican Donald Trump at 40%, Democrat Joe Biden at 36%, down four points, and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. at 14 points. In meaning if that third-party independent candidate is inserted into the race and that independent candidate is Robert F. Kennedy, he pulls from both candidates, but significantly more from Joe Biden, who's already trailing in the polls. Robert F. Kennedy pulls seven points of support away from Joe and six points away from Donald Trump, hypothetically, in early polling data. It's relatively even, and here's why that's a bad thing. Very simply because Robert F. Kennedy is a Democrat. It's not freaking rocket science here, folks. He is a Democrat candidate. In fact, he's a storied, long legacy, long family history legacy Democrat. Who do you think he's going to pull? He's going to pull old-fashioned Kennedy voters, old-fashioned Democrat voters, who can't get themselves to vote for Joe Biden. Of course, there's an element of that, you know, middle ground, I guess, right-leaning individuals who can't get themselves to vote for Donald Trump. But I believe the more time goes on, the less and less vote-shedding, I guess we could say, we're going to be seeing from the Trump camp towards the Kennedy camp, specifically because of issues. The fact here is that Robert F. Kennedy, again, is a Democrat. RNC Research tweeted this, There is very little daylight between RFK Jr. and a typical Democrat politician. So here are 23 reasons to oppose the candidacy of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He voted for Joe Biden in 2020. He is a self-described Kennedy Democrat. He has admitted his candidacy will take more votes from the Republican candidate than Biden. We're not sure that that's the case, but that seems to be his stance. He is a prolific donor to Democrat candidates dating back to 1985, including Barack Obama in 2007. He enthusiastically endorsed Hillary Clinton's 2000 Senate run, 2007 presidential, and 2016 presidential campaigns. He calls himself a huge admirer of socialist Bernie Sanders. He praised rabid anti-Semite Louis Farrakhan as a truly great partner. He supports divisive and unconstitutional affirmative action policies in higher education. He called the NRA a terror group. He compared hog farmers to Osama
Osama bin Laden's international terror network, he has repeatedly called for a ban on fossil fuel extraction, including fracking. He praised socialist Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's Green New Deal as good and important. We ought to be pursuing it. He supported divesting from fossil fuels, imposing a tax on carbon emissions and eliminating energy subsidies. He vehemently opposes American energy projects, including the Keystone Pipeline. He attempted to get ExxonMobil banned from doing business in New York and believes oil company executives should be given the death penalty. He lauded China's 2015 cap and trade commitment as revolutionary. He is a huge supporter of the failed Paris Climate Agreement. He supports abortion on demand until birth without limits in line with today's Democrat Party. He supports tax hikes on hardworking Americans, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's proposed top 70% rate. He praised Biden's unilateral student loan debt bailout and called the Supreme Court's decision overturning it unfortunate. He once called Republican voters misinformed because they believe in God and don't read the New York Times. He called the 2000 presidential election stolen under a cloud of dirty tricks and said Republicans fixed the 2024 presidential election. And so that right there, I think, is the major issue. Robert F. Kennedy has a higher approval rating among Republicans than he does Democrats. But that's kind of as a person. It's kind of the way we like Joe Rogan and don't mind Bill Maher. It's the way we like Jordan Peterson, for instance. Just because we like and respect them doesn't mean we agree with all of their policy stances and doesn't mean they're a viable candidate to be president. These are two completely different concepts. The moment Robert F. Kennedy joins as an independent, the moment he is officially running in a general election, he's a Democrat. And everything that I just listed, most of which is true, some of which, let's say, is a little bit mischaracterized, well, all of that is going to be used against Robert F. Kennedy. And obviously, Republicans aren't going to be elated to vote for him over the actual Republican leader, Donald Trump. Those individuals will be an extreme minority. However, on the other side, you can't say the same thing. Joe Biden is weak. Joe Biden is frail. He's falling apart. And if there's another Democrat option supporting a lot of the same Democrat policies, well, then obviously we're going to see a split vote because they're two factions of the same. People who want higher taxes and more regulation, people who want to demonize wealth, wealth creation, billionaires, rich people, voters who want on-demand, without-limit abortions, they're going to be looking at Robert F. Kennedy, not to mention primary voters who feel as though they're being robbed of their democratic will. Democrat primary voters who are pissed off, I believe, are the most likely individuals to break off moving away from Joe Biden and into the Kennedy camp. A majority of Democrat voters do not want Joe Biden to run again. They want other options. There have even been top Democrat politicians calling for rigorous debate in a Democrat process to choose the next leader heading into the 2024 election. That, let's call it, Democrat voter demand is being willfully ignored and Joe Biden is being forced upon Democrat voters. Well, a lot of those people are going to have a pretty sour taste in their mouth, and I personally think a lot of those people, based off pure principle and nothing else, will end up moving towards the Kennedy camp, more so than Republican voters who say they like him, but after they've, let's say, rubbed their eyes, after they've cleaned the window, you know, once the honeymoon period is over and once they're actually looking at the policy proposals, at the actual campaign itself, the substance of the campaign, well, I think we're going to see a quite dramatic shift, and we kind of already are. That Echelon Insights poll suggests a pretty devastating impact on Joe Biden's candidacy. Well, that's not the only poll suggesting the same thing. We have an Ipsos poll from October 3rd where they asked a thousand adults who they would vote for. The end result was 35% for Joe Biden, 35% for Trump, a statistical tie. The moment Kennedy's name was added to the poll and it's a three-way race, again, we see the same thing. Four points of support pulled from Joe Biden and only two points pulled from Donald Trump. Donald Trump pulls ahead once again with the most recent metrics on this three-way race. Mark my words, the more this continues, the more this becomes a real thing, the more Joe Biden will suffer electorally. I think the copium is finally starting to wear off and Democrats are realizing that this is in fact the case. Kennedy's family is in full-on panic mode. Quote, dangerous to our country. Four of Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s living siblings issue statement denouncing his run for president. Kerry Kennedy, Rory Kennedy, Joseph P. Kennedy, and Kathleen Kennedy Townsend. The decision of our brother Bobby to run as a third-party candidate against President Joe Biden is dangerous to our democracy. Where have I heard that one before? Bobby might share the same name as our father, but he does not share the the same values, vision, or judgment. Today, 
today's announcement is deeply saddening for us. We denounce his candidacy and believe it to be perilous for our country. Yeah, it doesn't exactly seem like the Kennedys, a long-line, historied, Democrat legacy family, is super stoked on the idea that their brother, Bobby Kennedy, running for president. It doesn't seem like they share the vision that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. joining the race strips votes away from Donald Trump and essentially opens the door for Joe Biden to walk right into the presidency. It seems like quite the opposite. In fact, it seems like a five-alarm panic. It seems like they know this is a bad thing. If Democrats are talking about our democracy being in danger, well, then that's code word for that's not politically convenient or advantageous to us. Here's more panic to add on to the list. As RFK Jr. prepares to launch independent 2024 bid, poll shows the devastating effect that it will have on Biden. Yeah, not exactly surprising. Look, I've been right before, I've been wrong before. Again, like I always say, take my predictions with a grain of salt, because 2020 and beyond politics or political predictions are nearly impossible to make. We are in uncharted territory, and every historic norm has essentially been thrown out the window. Take it with a grain of salt, but my prediction is exactly as the headline says it. An RFK independent run will have a devastating effect on Joe Biden's campaign. You're splitting the Democrat vote while Republicans are aligned with one option. The moment we come back to reality and Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s little honeymoon phase with Republicans is over, the moment it's campaign time and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Jr.'s entire political identity is exposed to the American public, headed to the ballot box, the moment that actually happens, expect a dramatic shift in the polls. That's my view. I think this benefits Republicans. That's what I got for you guys, though. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.